Bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. Welcome back to Solid Content and welcome back to Citadelum. Um, when we last left ourselves, we were working on getting this little silk trade route setting up. We want to upgrade our upgrade, upgrade our plebeians to a level three. So in order to do that, we just need to give them some onions. I believe it'll be easy enough to set up some onion manufacturing uh, and then continue to upgrade all of these so that this little block of houses that we've already built can actually do the work of housing more plebeians to help build our military infrastructure, which I think we should put right here. That's my cold open, and then I go, and you're watching, solid kind of, and then it goes into like a, the graphics and everything of the show. Anyway, so what I want to do is pause the game. How are, we, how are we doing for money? We're doing great for money. Uh, this, I assume, is mounting. So the the more prestige I get, the more these armies are going to show up. A play is being performed. Very good. Okay. Uh, I want to build out it around this area as well. Uh, just so that theater doesn't look like so empty there. Um, but what I need to do here is, like, yeah, maybe this is the time to set up our... I don't know if it's time to set this up just yet. But, like, okay, what, 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 do, we ha what do we have here? Swordsmith produces stuff from iron. That's about it. Okay. Shields use planks. It lowers the zone's desirability, too. Okay, so we actually have to have that further away from these plebes. Because if we want the plebes to increase their vibes, then we actually shouldn't. Yeah, we don't want to do that because we might even have a situation. So what we should do is actually put them uh, out here. Let's see how close we want to get. Oof. Yeah, this, this area here is going to be good enough provided we don't try to put any plebes in this area. I think is the problem. Well, we could keep it at a zero. Okay, what about this? What about this? Armory. Ah, it's all it's all angry. Okay, it causes problems regardless. So let's do this. We're gonna go armory right here. I'm gonna grab a road, rural road. We're gonna go rural road right through here. Okay. Materials production bow workshop. We can put a bow workshop here. Shields. Ah, we're out of uh, money. So we're gonna get some bow workshops going on first. Let's get a little few more staff there. Let's look at upgrading these. So onions. What's, what's going on here? Oh, this marketplace has four of four, and this marketplace has one. So let's up that to four so we can kind of uh, get these people their food faster. And then let's get some onions growing near this granary, maybe. Farm. Uh, onion orchard. Do I want to do... Oh, why won't it let me... Oh, fertile ground. Okay. Um... I guess I just, yeah, I'm just put it here. Whatever. I don't know why I just didn't like putting it there, but I have done it now, and it is done. All right, so that's going to create 80 onions a day. We'll get that to these plebes over here. Now, what about these ones? What do they have? They're at a 10%. Let's see what we got for decoratives. This brings it up to a 6. R. That's kind of what we want. Bring that up to oh, 41% on that one. My goodness. Okay, let's go like... What do I get out of that? No, yeah, let's do that here. And then a gladiator statue? No, um, let's go like just like a garden in front there. And then this little area here could have something. The problem is you just kind of want to end up spamming the she-wolf. Why wouldn't you? Uh, but I don't, no, I don't want to. But like that's such a small increase. The increases are so bad that the she-wolf is the main one doing any of the work. Let's put a lion in here, I guess, just because it's not really going to let us do anything. Well, that's huge. A little fountain. And then, you know what? Decoratively speaking, engineers post... I, what I'm curious is, like, paved plot. Oh, yeah, you can put... Oh, that's awesome. New prestige level unlocked. Good. So we've unlocked the Circus Maximus, chariot training, marble arch, and a sign, and a equestrian statue. Now this I like, that you can put that stone underneath other buildings. So that helps kind of like bring those in. So now we have some level threes here, I believe. Not yet, not yet. There's a three. So how many housing, 18 out of 12. Okay, yeah, so there's a few more there, that's good. In fact, we have 15 people looking for jobs. So let's up this here. You, we're gonna have to look at our production as well and make sure, because we might be over, uh, over spending right now. 
You've proven to be a good leader, but there are enemies waiting out there. I'm already there, dude! Uh, iron ore you can extract. Also already done that. Wood into wood planks. Finally, you must have all the equipment and armories. Yeah, yeah. I'm already ahead of the tutorial. The game, are you kidding me? Armor workshop. Produces. Real nice armor. And I think we're going to need shields. Um, and swords. Yeah, pretty much just that whole bottom row. We just got to make that whole bottom row. We just need to wait for some more chopped up stone. So let's get some more, let, like, like you know, let's let's start doing some more resource mining here, like that stone deposit or something. I'm trying to find, oh, here we go. This is exactly what I'm looking for. So we're going to go here. We're going to grab this road. My goodness, is this ever the thing we want? Take this road out. Uh, wait, wait, hang on, hang on. So if I go plebeum house it, one, two, three. Okay, so let's bring this road up here to allow for a few more housings. One, two, three, one, two, three. Right there. Oh, perfect. It's all as it's as though I measured it. And then we're gonna come out into this area. This area is gonna be huge for us. Absolutely huge. Okay, there we go. Water source nearby. Love it. So they're gonna get their own private reservoir. This might even just like develop into a city one day. That's the lore we're saying right now. Okay, and a wa watermill. There we are. Love that. See, this is what I didn't do last time, so we're gonna do it right this time. So engineers post, fire station first, <laughs> because the distance. We don't need to worry about the distance. That's the thing. Um. Oh crap! Do we have any? Do we have a fire station here? Oh, I've done it again. I've done it again. God, it's, it's so easy to forget that you need fire stations every single place of the of your whole map. There. I wonder if it'll even get dealt with fast enough. Three. Come on. Put the fishmonger out. Okay. Anyway, back. And meanwhile, back up here, we want to get our materials production. We're going to go stone quarry. Um... I don't know, here, I don't know, it just kind of looks interesting if I do it that way. And we're going to go for a warehouse. Right about there. Things are getting a little tight in this area. Let's go warehouse right there. Over to here. Iron mine. One, two, three... Produce 10 armor. Okay, yeah, we're working on 2 of 10. Good. Okay, so that's begun. So we're just bringing in some more iron ore now. We're bringing in some more stone. And then what I'd like to do with this is... I'm trying to get used to the game and where everything is. But I haven't quite done it yet. So stone, stone quarry. Iron mine. Yes, did it all. Stone cutter. That's what it looks like. Maybe I'll just put that right there. Max that out to 4. There we are. Okay, that's brought in some more. So that's like a relatively safe area, which actually it makes me realize this is probably not that well covered. Oh, it's barely covered. That, that could be a problem. We need we need that there. So armor, bows, sword smithery, right here perhaps. Now, do we need more stuff? Potentially. Right now. Flax field, and oh, that could be good. Sawmill, I think we're doing okay. For, uh, now, uh, what is our plank situation? Consuming zero per day. So wait, aren't you supposed to be consuming? Oh, wood, okay. So wait, what are we missing? Something consumes planks per day. The shield. Oh, I haven't made the shield workshop. I'm an idiot. Okay, well, let's make the shield workshop. There we go. Now, what I think I can also do is buff this area with decorations. And then that's going to, you know, raise the stature of all these houses. So overall, I think this is going to be okay. But that's been a learning in this in this season in this season in this in this game here is that you kind of actually do want to space your buildings out. At least one super block like this big keep a little space open uh, in the in more in the center maybe. So that you can kind of like fill it up with uh, boosting materials, boosting abilities. 
All right, let's take a quick perusal of my resources. So producing 120 minus 100 a day. So I might need to do some more wood. Consuming 120 of those. Yeah, so my consumption... Oh, uh, that's fine. The only one that's got where my consumption is off, really, in my raw materials is lumber. So we can solve that pretty quickly. Uh, wheat is still massive. Melon's doing great. Yeah, this. Where's my wine? Wine, great. We can sell more even. Carrots are close. So if we make anything, we can make more carrots. We have 30. Oh my goodness, we have a lot of unemployed people. Okay, let's get another granary going then. Uh, but I think that also means we're going to need another... I'm going to do this. I think we need another... Oh. A new prestige level. Let's care. Oh, they're going to attack us any second now. So now we have a fountain plaza and a large statue. I mean, that's cool. Okay, this place is blowing up. We're doing good, but I haven't even started, like, making, you know, people yet. You know, like armies. Carrot orchard. Ah, we're out of wood. Of course. That thing I talked about needing to deal with earlier. Really want to stay within the, um... Can we just do that? Four... Four. There we are. Let's try to up our lumber production. 480 a day. That's good. Fire station's kind of covering everything. Yeah, make sure that's maxed out. Okay, we got to stay on top of that. Yeah, make sure we, our warehouse people are still are unloading a little faster. There we go. Okay, well, that's settled down some of that stuff. That's there we are. We could even bring up our arms producers, but let's take a look. Equipment. I mean, I think that's coming along. I don't know if that's good. Let's take a look here. Uh, Minotra. What do we need? Uh, rec uh, recruits barracks. Military lodging. Where soldiers rest. Centurion training building. Okay, I mean, obviously, let's build that one first. Oh, we can make more... Ex expl oh, guard training building. All this is great. Infantry training. So wait, what's the barracks where, they're, where they rest? So these are all the trainings. Okay. So let's build like a military base, basically. That's what we should do. That's going to be awesome. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. <laughs> I just got excited by my own stupid idea. Let's go. Okay. That's marble arch. Let's go with a brick grate, brick grate and a brick wall. And make the royal military sort of thing, yeah? The royal barracks. Right here in the middle of the land. Way too much space, potentially. And yet we love it. And then we're going to have a south gate as well. If this is south. Okay. And then in the middle, in the center, I want some sort of... Ah. No. Rebuild. There. No. Zero problems. I rebuilt immediately. Oh, wait. Because we don't have engineers. Ah, man. you got to stay on top of this. Right? I don't think we have engineers in this area. There we go. Here. Four engineers. We do it. We have so many staff members. But again, they're probably going to become soldiers, so I don't need to worry about that. Okay. Fountain Plaza. Still locked. How big is this thing? Oh, we love this. Let's go a little close to the entrance here, maybe. With the Fountain Plaza. Okay. That's a good reminder that there's no water. So what I need to do is bring this aqueduct through here. And get another reservoir going. Let's see if I can do that, actually. Oh, love this. Uh, again, it's like I planned it. It's, it's It feels like I planned it. So let's bring that reservoir right to there, in fact. And now it's time to get serious, as you'll need to train soldiers. I know! Once the recruits arrive, we can assist them to the training we want. We'll simply have to build a training building, and then we'll be able to determine how many soldiers we want to train. As soon as we have recruits available as well, the necessary equipment and resources automatically be assigned to begin their training. You should also know that you can increase and decrease the priority of training, so you can control which types of soldiers you want to train first. Soldiers will be waiting at the deployment camp on the map of the region just outside the city, ready for you to incorporate them into a legion, and then you'll have to train different types of soldiers depending on blah, 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 blah. Now, I know I say blah, 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 because it's like, you know, what do I care? But I do care, and I do, and I should. What about this premium road? Do they, are they the ones that, do they get a premium road? Let's put this premium road here and see what it looks like. Like, do I even like it? Oh. 
That's very nice, but way too fancy for the Militra. So they're just going to get the paved road straight through. And then fully around the fountain, of course. We're not fools. Now, Militra. I'm thinking the barracks are very thin. Uh, not as thin as I thought, though. Not as thin as I thought. So we're going to go... Hmm. I'm trying to consider my options for what I like. I'm going to do something like this, maybe. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay, this is going to look great. Through to here. Then that kind of paves up there. Same thing over here. Let's go military. Let's go recruit barracks. Recruit people right away. Very good. Hmm. Oh, I wish... Almost, almost. It was just a bit wider. I hear a fire. Where is it? Speaking of fires, let's just get another fire dude in here. Let's just have so many fire dudes around. Because then maybe they'll even run to that one. I don't know, but I just want lots of uh, fire treatment around here. Now, I have no idea if this is a good or bad idea to have this many recruits. Like, that might be expensive or something. I'm not. I'm still making money. But like, surely they char they cost money, you know, wages and such. Okay, Pedro, there we are. That looks sweet. All right, let's get some training going. So I think obviously we're gonna want. I mean, guards are good. Infantry training and archer training. So they're all the same size. These buildings. There must be a more efficient shape. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go like this. Uh, so what was that? That is infantry training. Let's get two. I just want lots of infantry. So I'm going to go like two infantry training things back to back. Then I'm going to go archer training. Centurion training. Oh, that's cool. Centurion training. And then we can get one more building in here. Actually, that should be the centurion training. So I'm going to demolish that. I know I'm wasting money, but, you know, what do you what do you want from me? So what do we have here? We have archer, infantry, infantry. Guards, I suppose. Oh, okay. Good to know. I don't think we have horses. Or does this come with horses? I'm going to go centurions right here, then. Then I'm going to go... Guard training. And we're going to go like this. Okay. That looks cool. But let's put some statues in there now. Decorative. Oh, yeah. Sick. Oh, that looks awesome. Okay, great. Perhaps some trees here. Maybe mostly trees, to be honest, because that's kind of like the vibe of this little area. Yeah, that's looking good. This is my... Oh, my military f fort is looking excellent. Perhaps they can have a fountain just to... Oh, there's quite a large fountain here. You guys... you, you Yeah, there, we get to have fountains. A round fountain here, and then a tree in the background. Then we're going to go grab the paved thing just to make those... Tie those fountains in a little nicer. I mean... Dare we tie it all in? Like that? Yeah, that looks okay. That looks good. There we are. There's our uh, our first military base ever. Oh, I love how that looks. Okay, what are we doing over here? What's ha- Oh, when did this happen? <laughs> Get back to work. I'll tell you when it happened. It happened when I stopped giving them fire protection or anything else. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Yo, we have stuff to deal with. Let's get this dealt with first. There we are. Okay. Now, we are making slightly less money now, but we are now uh, doing some training over here in our grand military base. Uh, we are mining a little bit of iron there. All our resources are coming in. Working on getting those... 
people down, the, uh, the, the what's it's, the number of jobs up and the unemployment down. Okay. All right, let's pause. Okay. Pluto's mad. Zero temples. Shouldn't have expected anything from a mortal. Compensate for your actions by giving me a d denarii and wine from your reserve. Honestly, I think we just have to deal with one at a time. So, okay, let's go Pluto. Temple of Pluto. Oh, God, this is going to be intense. We are going to have to put some of them together. Yes, I know they overlap, but it's like there's nothing else. Like, we have to get these built. Okay, Jupiter's upset now. But I think also you... what did, Didn't they say to only worry about one at a time? Or I can't remember. Let's go. To, uh, a tomb of Jupiter right there. Okay. Mars is not stoked. And Minerva... Where, what's she up to? What's Minerva? Goddess of Wisdom. Yeah, okay. Well, I like that. Let's put that in here somewhere. Oh, yeah. Like right here, dudes. Oh, we can't really. It doesn't quite fit. But I'll put it in here then. No, because I like... Yeah, there's a tax base there that I want to maintain my work over. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go like this, I think. And I'm going to go premium road. She gets her. She gets a premium road near her. How about that, Minerva? What do you think of that, Minerves? There, look at that. So, an entire premium whatever. But then here I'm going to put some decorative stuff as well to just kind of make things nicer. Let's go columns, maybe. I don't know. No, columns are weird by themselves. Equestrian statue, a lion statue, maybe one of these. I'm going to put it here because I'm going to put something. Oh, we've run out of resources. We've run out of coins. I spent too much money. Okay. Well, that's all right. We will, we'll get around to that in a second here. All right. Now. Okay. Still pretty upset. So what we need to do is probably start to launch some sacrifices or something. But do we even have... We don't have any animals to sacrifice, which means we have to sacrifice plebeians. Oh, horrible. Okay. Sacrifice two of these. Oh, I didn't like that at all. But Jupiter is now slightly less angry. So I see what we need to do. So, okay, wait, wait, wait. How do we make a bunch of animals then? That's what we need. What farm am I looking for? A pig farm. Consuming wheat. Okay, so we have to be careful. What production chain are they part of? They just go straight into the granary as meat, I guess? I assume they have to get butchered. Okay, so let's pause the game here. Or unpausing us. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that's pigs. So I think if we just start making pigs, we can sacrifice them instead of humans. Which, like, personally... Like, I don't think it matters, but I feel... I would feel better. Alright. How have we not trained any archers yet? Do I have to... Because I gotta pick it, don't I? Soldiers in training. Training queue. Oh, and we don't have a training queue. Okay. I think these are going to be expensive. There's no way we're not having to pay for all these guys. Oh, so we have to give these guys meat to have those. Let's get some guards going on. There is no stock necessary. So these guys need meat. Okay. That's fine. We're going. Oh, no! <laughs> Stop burning the barracks. Are these fire things working at all? Oh, no, never, never mind. It's, it seemed to work. But what I'm realizing now is we probably don't have an engineer maintaining this stuff. So we probably need that. Uh, it's not too bad. It looks like there's some engineer vibes, but that's okay. We'll get some more. Okay, let's get some meat going, guys, around this granary. So we need a butcher and a pig farm. we got to wait until a couple seconds from now until we have some money. And then we have to be a little smarter about our money, I think, personally. This feels good. This feels like we've got some, you know, some training happening. This, this feels really good. I love seeing this little... And they're probably going to start walking around in their uniforms, too, and that's going to look really awesome. Good lord, I like this game. I'm having a lot of fun. Speed up time a little bit. There, there we go. Got some money. Okay. Okay, let's get set up our pig, possibly cow situation, because they probably want milk too, don't they? Got two pig farms going. Let's literally, literally, let's put a butcher shop like over here. How busy are you guys? I need a, a button that says how busy they are. 
So that needs pig. This is producing pig. Okay, oh yeah, look at this. We just went through all the jobs. We just employed everyone. Everyone's happy with me again. I've got a, a, a well-run society. I do need some more tax base, though. Let's get this guy into the tax base pretty quick here. Let's uh, give them a premium road right across here. Is that a gate? I think so. There we go. Yeah. Why are you guys walking inside this private villa, by the way? I don't know how I feel about that. Anyway, there we go. Premium wrote it. Okay. So, uh, are, the, are they being taxed? Let's max out our tax collectors. And then let's get these guys to level up a little bit. So what are we dealing with? Uh, 25. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <gasps> no! Oh, I'm gonna get punished. I, I, oh, crap. I was trying to... Oh! I was trying to set up the ability to help you. Oh, crap. Rebuild. <laughs> no, don't do that one too. Oh, he's one-shotting my buildings. No, he's gonna one-shot the granary. I definitely need to save money to rebuild that. If he wrecks that granary, my whole economy is gonna collapse. Please don't wreck the granary. Okay, I've got 15 pigs. We gotta start doing some sacrifices. That's brutal. Oh my goodness. Okay, sacrifice. I got a couple of pigs. Oh, don't make the sound of the pigs dying. No, I don't care about that. It looks like it satiated them all, though. So that's nice. They come down, they punish me. One god punishes me. We gotta literally wait till we have more money before we can deal with that. Uh, one building is closed. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm aware of that one. Okay, so this isn't bad. We, you know, the, uh, oh, we should put on a play, shouldn't we? I don't have the money. We need a way better tax base. I'll tell you that much for free. Four people in the marketplace. Let's up that to four people at that marketplace. Unemployed defense personnel. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, defense. Okay. Guard post. 100 gold. Or 100 deglooneries, as we call them. From this vantage point, guards will be able to spot criminals and shoot arrows at attackers. Needs a guard to function. I think I want to guard post. I don't think I want to guard tower just yet. Although I wonder if we should be walling this off. Potentially. Okay, what do I have here? So recruits ready for training. I have even more recruits ready for us. So let's go for another... Uh, bunch of archers here. Give me another four spots of those. Oh my goodness. Look at this bustling village. I think that's one good thing that... Uh, another of the many good things that this game is doing is really giving us a sense of the, like, the bustling nature of these villages. Oh, I do love that. Okay, let's speed up time here. I think everything else is running okay. Our military is working. We are providing meat now. Let's get a couple of these. Oh, no, those are guards, right? I didn't... Okay, let's get another general, though, maybe. Oh, no, we don't have enough. I'll lower that. What is our meat situation? Like, what's our consumption rate? 80 a day and we're not consuming. Okay. 96 a day and not consuming that. Okay, good. I'm gonna slow things down here. Let's go to our region map. Is there no one else to trade with? Yeah, we really just need to get this guy out of the way and then we're probably gonna beat the tutorial. What else can you do? We have no other trade partners. So yeah, all of this surplus, I, we shouldn't be making surplus, it's a waste. Because there's nothing else to do for trade. Can't wait to put them together, that's gonna be awesome. I've seen some of the battles, and as I'm sure some of you, oh no. Uh, we're losing patricians, that's my tax base. Okay, I'll celebrate more festivals. <sighs> Deploy troops in the region map, okay. You must not waste time or they might attack the settlement. You must take the initiative and annihilate the enemies on the map of the region. The map of the region, once in this view, at the bottom of the screen you can see two legion buttons. Deploy the explorers and other for legions. You have to have some soldier of this class and decide in which of the territories. Or not. In case of legions, we can choose the soldiers that encompass them and decide the territory to deploy them. If you press the button under each legion, you can choose which soldier to add to increase their military power. Okay, that's sweet. Well, let's slow things down. I want to get today 
13, I want to throw some festivals, guys. It's important for my people. Look at that. Crime is, is actually steadily heading up as well. Let's celebrate a festival. Oh, I don't have... Oh, because I don't have, what is it, what, milk or something? Okay. Let's celebrate this festival. Let's also grab a good 10 of these bad boys and sacrifice those. Dude, things are going to go lousy with pig, pig death, okay? You must wait for the end of the current festival. Okay, that's fine, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to do another 10 pig sacrifice. Who's like our most... Okay, let's go find Mars. Temple of Mars. Because we're about to go do battle, so I think we should... You know what? We're just going to give him one. We're going to give him one human. Now, how does Mars feel about us? He's a little happier. Not that happy. With some remaining money, let's make sure we get to... Put a play on as well. Now that's what I'm talking about. We got religion. We got plays going on. Bread. We've given them circus. And in the meantime, I send my men off to war. Wait, hold up. Deploy a legion. I want this legion. Reinforce. With one of those. 14 of these. 10 of these. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. You have everything you need to take the fight to the enemy. Once you choose which troop to face, a window opens where you can see information about your units and, choose, and those of the enemy. And you can start the battle. This Okay, here we go. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, it really gave me... I mean, we're massively overdoing it, but that's my preference. And that's kind of the way we used to do it. You know, us soldiers. So we have one general type. 30 archers, 29 infantry. This should be a no-brainer. And so begins our very first battle. You face your first battle, but first you must decide the formation of different units. For combat, you must define formations of the different types of soldiers available to you. The first step is to select the type of soldiers, okay, to form a unit. Okay. Once you've chosen the soldier class, you must determine the formation. Keep in mind that all units have strengths and weaknesses, so evaluate how the enemy has placed his troops to design antagonistic formations and win the clashes. Uh, Centurions. Okay, so they're gonna, yeah, power our dudes up. When you finish setting up the formation on the battlefield, you can start the battle. So it's kind of, you set it up. Oh, whoa, whoa, careful. I double clicked. You set the battle up, and then you kind of, I think, hope for the best, don't you? What do, wait, how do I move these guys? Trash. So I'm going to go... No, I don't want to do that. There we are. Archers. Close behind. In a broader line, perhaps. No, I'll just have that. And then our Centurion. Bang, right there. Not a very... It's a very simple battle, but I, I, like, I'm not going to do any flanking because I also don't know how the game works. What's this button do? I don't know. Ah, okay. Everybody advance. The next thing that awaits you is to direct the action during combat. Oh, good. During the battle, uh, your units move auto autonomously, but as a general, you can give certain orders. Uh, defend or move forward, I think. <laughs> if you mark a point and drag, you can determine an area where a unit places defense formation awaiting encounter the enemy. Finally, by marking an enemy unit, you will give the order to attack it, forcing a confrontation. If you can't finish off the enemy, you can always retreat. Yeah, right. Oh, it moves fast! It moves fast! Whoa, it's so bloody. Oh my goodness, that's so bloody. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, the battles in this game move very fast. I didn't even have a chance. Oh, okay, I did not even have a chance to, like, reposition them. Okay, Explorer, you come on down here. Legions, stay in reserve. We may need you soon. What happened here? More people are leaving? Get out of town, literally. Why are you guys leaving? All right, I feel like this should be safe. Legions, return. Return home. Victoriously. Dude, this rocks. Okay. Back to the settlement. We have some more money. Apparently, we're not doing enough religious festivals. I'm going to give you guys a church, like, right down here. How about... What about a... Uh, okay, what, well, who's the most angry at us right now? She was up there. It's Apollo. 
God of medicine and the arts. Of course we need an, an Apollo, um, you know, thing. Medicine and the arts, like right across from this. Okay. Don't worry, you're going to get a whole premium road. Oh, I guess we left that. That's, it is what it is. Let's go premium plot. Okay. And then we're going to go with some decorative items as well. I'll do the pillars. We haven't done them yet, so we might as well do them. A gladiator statue, an equestrian statue, like that. Come on now, that's awesome. Celebrate a festival, let's do this. Give me a couple of sacrifices, give me a bunch of piggies. Boom, now she's stoked, and we can call down a blessing. Hello, oh. I thought Apollo was a lady. I really thought Apollo was a lady, but. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you for blessing those houses. Yes, bless all these houses. Yes, very good. Look at this. We're going nuts with celebrations and festivals. She's a little mad with me. Honestly, this got way easier to manage than I thought, so that's great. A relic has been found. It's nothing more than an amulet shaped like a phallus. <laughs> okay. Uh, nobody look at my stream right now. I didn't... I don't approve of this. Nobody look at this. <laughs> Deliver to... Oh, dude, they're all gonna love it, though. I just have to pick who who really loves it. Let's give um, this dude a bit of love, I think. No, you know what? Mars. He brought us the victory. We're gonna please Mars. Okay, you go down here and find that silk road. I want another blessing. I want double blessings going on at all times. Okay, I'm also seeing that we really do need to just get some more... Oh, I am, I'm getting... Oh, no, he's just going around still... Well, Apollo's still blessing me, dude. Okay, let's pretty much build another one of each of these, I guess. Ceres, the god of fertility. I guess you can have one. Right here, I suppose? Yeah, that works for me. Oh, you'll even, you even get a premium row. There we go. So now one of them, yeah, there she goes. She has two temples, so she's going to like that. Come bless me, Mars. Bless me. Oh. I assume he's going to give us some, yeah, he's going to give the men some something to think about. Let's train some more then. Oh, dude, I love this. Okay. Yeah, we don't have the stuff, but that's fine. We are going through, oh, yeah, see, we've upped our, our usage. We have some trained and ready soldiers. Very good. So we could reinforce this group. Just make a massive legion here. We're about to discover, hopefully, a, a village we can trade with, and hopefully the main village we can trade with. Honestly, I think getting... Is it... Who is it that I got to come bless me just now? Apollo seems to be the one. We kind of want Apollo to like us. I, I'm kind of into Apollo. Apollo hooked us up. Get another Apollo temple going. Because Apollo literally went and like filled needs of houses. Like that is see now that's a good like religious relationship that I can get to get on board with. Um Apollo, where do you get to have another temple? Over here? The same side? Ah, uh, sure, why not? And let's see if I can get some more plebes in here. I might need some plebes. Are we out? Yeah, let's get some more plebes to do some stuff here. There we go. Let's celebrate a quick festival. Throw down some piggies. Oh, we're going to get another blessing. Oh, <laughs> hook me up with a blessing. Bless me, Apollo. That's the name of the episode. Yeah, go fill up these people's lives. All right, now this Roman town is rocking. Let's take a look at our region map here. What have we unlocked? Oh, another set of armies. Very well. Reinforce the troops. Seven more archers. What do we have? We've got 37 of those dudes, two of these dudes. Let us march forth. Explorer, you stay by because we may need you in a second. Nope. That's not what I told you. I mean, I, I clicked, but anyway. Very good. March legions. This will be a big battle. Your biggest yet. 
It's going to be a total snooze fest. Are you kidding me? We're going to absolutely rock. Wait, what do we have here? They have archers this time. Very good. How smart of them. What if we make... Let's see if we can have a defensive... Let's put them real close together. Oh, too close, apparently. One here. One here. We're going to go guard on everybody. You all stay, stay put. Have them come to us. Then... Oops. Yes. Oh, I love seeing an, a good archer volley before they even get to us. Oh, wow. Okay. That's... Are those cavalry and not... Okay, well, anyway, I mean, look, regardless, we just absolutely rolled through them. And that's what I'm talking about. You really want to let them come to you because you get a couple more. We only lost two dudes. I'm such a hero. I only lost two of my dudes. There we go. We did it. Oh. What? Oh, I only have six coins. Sell to your Uria. Okay, wait. So how many swords am I making? How many gladiuses, sorry, am I making here? Let's go back to our town. Uh, I am producing eight per day. I'm consuming very few. So we could up our gladius production. There we are. So now what am I producing, or what does it predict? 32 a day. Now that's what I'm talking about. So let's go here and manage trade. Let us sell. Wait, what's going on? There it is. So let's sell 10 per day. And let us buy 150 per day, which will probably end the game. Now, yes, we can't afford that right now. Trading revenue may differ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. We're going to solve it. It's going to get solved by the end of... We have a whole day to go. Yeah, see, we have enough of the money now. Everything is in order. We just don't have... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Trading route with issues. We're just not producing enough. That's great, though. That's cool to see how they... Um, you know what? The legions are going to stick around for a bit. I can always raise... I have six more uh, here. Oh, wait. We have... I forgot to even do anything with the guard units. They're probably upset with me or something. Let's raise some more guards. And let's get a guard post here. Oh, see, look, leaving these little tiny alleys has, has actually turned into a great idea. So I'm proud of myself for thinking of that. There we are. Oh, cool. Just going to let these people burn to death. That's fine. Bless me, Apollo. Is that not Apollo? See, that's not Apollo. That's a uh, series again. Okay, yeah, yeah. Fill my fill my coffers with resources. Yeah, there. Honestly, I will say, yeah, there is a lot to do in the game. Cause like, as you can see, people are starting to get a little upset with me already. So Pluto needs some more love. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build another Pluto temple. Or this one. Yeah. Okay. Don't know where yet. Need a lot of temples. My goodness. We can go here. Or like this, I guess. Because that'll allow us to put another house in here. Let's celebrate a quick festival. Oh, a large festival. I don't want to celebrate it at that one, though. Let's celebrate it in town. One thing I have been told, though, I, I keep spamming festivals. They will take the day off. That's the one problem. They It gives them a whole half day off, which is great for happiness. But now I have workers, like, not, you know, doing their jobs. I need another marketplace over here, I think. But, like, I think if we develop this land out here with some more of these patricians, uh, then we will see, yeah, some nice benefits there. What do these guys need? Milk and eggs. That's that's doable. Let's add some a, a low amount. Let's start slow here. Because how many do I... Oh, no, I have lots of jo uh, job openings, so that's fine. Let's go double milk. Chicken farm. Let's put one... Let's put a chicken farm up here, I guess. 
Make sure these granaries are all maxed up for people. There we are. That granary is not maxed up. There we are. So that's going to help with these patricians here. Running festivals, I believe, the silk. The very start of the game here. What do we have coming in? 150 is coming in. Which we can then sell to Rome. Making money, not necessarily hand over fist, but we're making money comfortably. Six more dudes. Okay, what's what's my guard post like? Can I see what's going on in there? Okay. It's got two guards walking around. Oh, I love that because it adds these guys to the thing. This is it is it has Sim City vibes because it gives you a vibrancy to it. It's old Caesar vibes as well. Like I you know, I, I miss the old game, so I'm so glad to be playing these again. And yeah, the vibes, honestly, the vibes are there. I'm loving the vibes. Let's bring a yeah, this road is pretty important. There we are. Sent to Rome. And there you have it, folks. We have accomplished the second chapter. What's next in the third chapter? I don't know, but I am ready for it. As you can see, I... Uh, let's stay on this map for a second. As you can see, I very much had a blast with this one. We didn't even build out this area, which I might even do. Like, I might even slow down and focus on really setting up a massive colony before I just easily complete the mission next time. I don't know. I'm just having a lot of fun, and... I mean, I'm ready for some sandbox, but like I said to you, I'm devoted. I'm devoted to doing the campaign. We're going to learn all about ancient Rome. We're going to get faster with our decorations and just like really just build up a really nice Roman town. We didn't even get like, uh, where is it? Entertainment. We haven't even done this. We could have this. The arena. We haven't built these things. So we can make sure we got to make sure to do that in the next episode. Got to make sure to build out some more of the bread and circus uh, in this beautiful city. Because so far, this is pretty good, but it could be better. It could be more Roman. It could be more stuffed with more to do. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you found it to be some truly solid content. I hope you're enjoying the uploads because I'm going to try to keep up the momentum from now on. At least until the next time I get super busy. <laughs> but I do love putting these out. So uh, uh, I hope you like the next one. And we'll see you all. And the next thing of whatever it is, I decide to play. Here's a close-up of my military base, of course. Very good. Oh, yeah. It's a good game. Good game.